Sorry for starting late, and we're happy to be here. We're happy to have you. Good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. Good morning from wherever you're viewing us around the world. God bless you. This is the seven days prayer stretch with Apostle Judah Zubaru, and the link is on um, Facebook, on YouTube. You can stream us live. Share the link, please, for people to be blessed, for people to encounter Jesus through this event. And I know your life will not be the same. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice this moment and just begin to bless the name of the Lord. Bless him, exalt him because he's worthy. Randoshka brande de benebo sata kandi anadabasha tanda da baraba. Rekas katana da mande de bo shara deski danda yabada. This is the beginning of beginnings in our lives. Sakanda da bayosh katande de benebe. Rakus ketendi abarash katandi yada setende bene 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 sata kadi yada. Rababa katana da mama mama ma. Rekos setende de bene bene. God has given an instruction for the for the next seven days. We are appearing upon Mount Zion. Lift up your voice and begin to declare what you want to see for the next seven days. Wherever you are in your sitting room, on, in, wherever it is, lift up your voice and begin to decree what you desire from God. The Bible says we should not be anxious for anything, but by prayer and supplication and thanks given let us make our request known unto god lift up your voice and begin to speak the testimonies you desire to experience through the seven days we want to hear you speaking it into existence Rabande koski tabaria kashatis kende bere kuska ba eskatandi ena nakaya rebende de bere bere be rukos kaska sabara masata rema mama 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 ma esata bara ba kasa tanda de ba are kaske te brende de bere be rukos atabara bara ba as Jacob was sensitive and knew that he was encountering God he said I will not let you go until you bless. Jesus, the other and finish of our faith. Ereba soto konoro mosha. Ribere 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 be. Rakasa tabara baya. Rema katana tabara ba. Ribere 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 mosha. Iya kaski de be. Arata naka. Reba kaski de mosha tika. Esa tika na mono sha brandi kare mosha. Reba ba 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 baya. Erasa tana nama. Reba kasha ta. You have not called the seed of Jacob. To seek you in vain, esa tabare kasa ta, rakasha ta na na mana, reba ra ba ra ba ra ba ra ba. Our hearts are open for the experience of heaven. It setene de bere bere bosha, reba kasa ta na na ba. Across the nations of the earth, our hearts are open to receive from you. It raset. 
Lift up your voice, everybody. Worship him, worship in the spirit. We lift up the name of our God. The Bible says, if I be lifted up, I will draw men unto thee. Lift up your voice tonight and worship him. Lift up your hands and worship. 
We worship you, Jesus. We give you praise, O oh God. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We sing your praises, God, yeah, as we honor you. For you are wonderful, you are worthy, oh God, for you are wonderful, you are worthy, oh God, you are excellent, everybody, you are worthy.
So why should I fear when I love you? I'm surrounded by love. everybody. You're everlasting. So why should I care? Why should what people say? share the link across all your social networks so people will be blessed please don't be selfish wherever you are around the world take this time now for the next one minute take this time and share the link across all your social media networks share the link so people will be blessed share the link so people will encounter Jesus and their lives will not be the same again we are entering into a deeper realm now please Take your time again and share the link and God will bless you. We apologize for certain late due to a few one or twos. God bless you. But we're happy to have moments and at this time I have the privilege to welcome a man of God that I hon Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together as I welcome Apostle Judah Zubairu. <laughs> Celebrate the grace of God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, can you just begin to pray in tongues wherever you are right now? Let's just pray in tongues wherever you are. Lift up your voice. Can we lift up our voices and just blast in tongues? for a few minutes wherever you are connecting with us online this is a time of prayer hallelujah just begin to bless in tongues wherever you are hallelujah Reba baba kashonde de baski ande de bakande randa kaboski ande kazu de kande de ga re ba shuta kama randa kazu kuti ande de baba ba re da kabashi ande kazu de de ba re ba kabashu te de man de de ga re da kabakazi te de kadu de de abakazu atele 
Somebody pray wherever you are, lift up your voice now. So pray wherever you are, wherever you're connecting with us. This is a time of prayer. We are here for no other reason but to pray. Let's be back to now. Somebody open up your heart. Use your voice and pray. Use your voice and pray in this moment. Open up your heart wherever you're connected with us. This is a time to pray. We are here on earth for no other reason but to pray. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! I love to worship your holy name 
You deserve the glory and honor. Mighty God, faithful God, oh, from age to age, you still remain the same. You never change, you never fail, you never let me down. Take all the glory, take all the honor, I give to you, I lift my voice.
tonight is not the night for you to be silent. Wherever you are, lift up a sound. You can lift up a sound from where you are watching right now. Wherever it is, you can lift up a sound from your spirit. You have been silent for too long. You have been silent for too long. He said, I will not be silent as long as I am living. to me wherever you are turn your bibles with me to matthew matthew 26 tonight we're going to pray this is the first day of the seven days prayer stretch by the grace of god by the mercies of god we're here and we are gathered for one reason and one reason only we're gathered here because we have a mandate to pray so if you're joining us i hope you are ready to pray even if your prayer life has been struggling for too long this is the moment where an awakening is happening in your spirit. This is the moment for your spirit to ascend. Turn with me to Matthew. In Matthew 26, if you've been in the church for a while, you must have read this portion of scripture before. I want to read it to you again so that we have a clear picture of what God wants to institute in our midst here tonight as we're all gathered online. Matthew 26, I read from verse 36. It says, then Jesus came with them, this referring to his disciples, to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to the disciples, he says, sit here while I go over there. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee. And they began to sorrowfully and deeply depressed. And he began to be sorrowfully and deeply depressed. Ah. Then he said to them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful even to death. Stay here and watch with me. He went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed saying, oh my father, if it is possible, he says, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Now this is the part we want to focus on. Verse 40, it says, then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, what? He says, what? What? He was shocked. He came to them and he said to Peter, he says, what? Could you not watch with me for one hour? This is what God is saying to you. You are looking at me right now. You are lying in bed. You better wake up from that sleep. You better leave that bed and find somewhere that you can pray. He says, what? Could you not watch with me for one hour? Just an hour. He says, just one hour. And in verse 41, it says, it says, watch and pray lest you fall into temptation. He says, the spirit is willing. He says, but the flesh is weak. Now I'm telling you that this is the night wherein your spirit is going to overcome your flesh. You better believe it. For too long, your prayer life has been rendered useless because of the weakness of your flesh. For too long, your, spirit, your prayer life has been too dormant. You have been too silent in the place of prayer. That is why a lot of things have been overcoming in your life. Whereas you are supposed to be more than an overcomer, you are supposed to be more than a victor. You are supposed to be the, the, the carrier of power and authority. But you've not been able to experience that because you've been silent in the place of prayer. Tonight is the night where it marks an end in your life. Amen. You better believe it. Amen. It ends today. This is the night. That's why I'm saying if you are lying somewhere, you better get up. If you are in the midst of people who are not ready to pray, find somewhere that you can pray. Because your flesh has been taken advantage of you. Listen to me now. The flesh is the only thing that wants to take you to hell. Why? Because it is not going there. Your flesh is working so hard to take you to hell, to take you out of the presence of God. Why? Because it's not going there at the end of the day. You're going to leave it here going to return back to the dead but you are going to go there your spirit is going to go there spend eternity so that is why in as much as the flesh may be weak but there is power that is generated when we submit to the holy spirit the bible says in galatians it says live by the spirit it says that you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh tonight especially this first night is the night that we're going to pray in the spirit it says it says sometimes we know not what to pray for as we ought but it says the spirit helpeth our infirmities. Jesus Christ. I see someone you are tuned in online. 
you are in a place where you are experiencing affliction your prayer life has been afflicted for too long but the word of the lord to you this moment is that this is the time when you break free from that chain that stronghold is breaking off you right now this is the moment all you need to do is to submit to that which god wants to do he says nevertheless not my will but your will be done god concerning you and this is the moment to it what jesus christ said to the disciple he said to peter specifically he says you cannot pray with me you cannot wait with me for an hour that is what he's saying with you to you right now some of you probably you are even feeling tired this is not the time for you to be tired this is not the time we're going to be here for seven days seeking god in the place of prayer seeking god where in the place of prayer he says when you want to pray he said do what he said go into your room he says shut the door he says pray to your father we are all online but we're all in individual places you are in your house in one country or wherever and we're here you can enter into your room shut the door enter into a closet shut the door and begin to blast in tongues even as i'm speaking right now allow your spirit to gain ascension Somebody pray wherever you are. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Renda kabaka shika paka zika tiliba. Rande kabaka shika tiliba. Renka tiliba kandea. Rande kabo. Lima kashu kotiliba. Rande kabaka shika tiliba. Lima kashu tiliba. Renda kabaski aniliba. Rande kabo shika tiliba. Lima kashu tiliba. Rande kaboski anile. Lima kashu tiliba.
stop praying until you come. I won't stop praying until you come. I won't stop praying until you come. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop praying until you come. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop praying until you come. I'll be on the altar 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 until you come.
five minutes we should be done for tonight I want to share with you something briefly as we round up if you have your Bible turn with me to 2nd Kings 5 it's a bit of a long read so please be patient with me I want to share with you something as you know this is for seven days this is just the first day this is the opening day it's the first day if we're starting like this I wonder what would happen by tomorrow <laughs> Let me share with you something in 2 Kings chapter 5. It's a bit of a long read, so please bear with me. We're almost done. It says, Now Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great and honorable man in the eyes of his master, because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor, but, but what? A leper. And Syrians had gone out on raids and had brought back captive a young girl from the land of Israel. She waited on Naaman's wife. Then she said to her, Mistress, if only my master were with the prophet who is in Samaria, for he would heal him of his leprosy. And the Naaman went in and told his master, saying, Thus and thus said the girl who is from the land of Israel. Then the king of Syria said, Go now, and I will send a letter to the king of Israel. So he departed and took with him ten talents of silver, six thousand shekels of gold, and ten changes of clothing. Then he brought the letter to the king of Israel, which said, Now be advised, when this letter comes to you that I have sent Naaman my servant to you, that you may heal him of his leprosy. And it happened when the king of Israel read the letter that he tore his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and make alive that this man sent a man to me to heal him of his leprosy? Therefore, please consider and see how he seeks a quiet with me. So it was when Elisha, the man of God, somebody said the man of God. So it was when Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes that he sent to the king saying where have you torn your clothes why have you torn your clothes please let him come to me and he shall know that there is a prophet in israel yeah. then naaman went with his horses and chariots and he stood at the door of elisha's house and elisha sent a messenger to him saying go and wash in the jordan what seven times he says go and dip yourself in the des in the, in the jordan how many times there is a reason why this is called 7 DPS. There is a reason why we call this 7 dips. He says, go and dip yourself in the water. How many times? Seven times. It is not by chance, so it's not a, a trendy name. It's not just we're looking for something catchy. That's not why we call it. It's called 7 dips for a reason. It's 7 days prayer stretch, yes, but specifically 7 dips because of this revelation that God gave. He says, go and dip yourself in the Jordan. How many times? Seven times. Some of you, you are joining us and you are saying, that, oh, let me just join for one day. I will find one time that I will join. This gathering online will not cleanse you if you are not in it throughout. Let me tell you, the mandate is for seven days. He says, if you dip yourself in the Jordan, how many times? Seven times. This is seven dips. This is what is happening right now. There's some of you, now it says that Naaman took with him gold, silver, clothing, money to purchase his blessing, yes. to purchase his healing. All of that did not work. It mattered nothing. Elijah did not even come out to meet him. Despite all the wealth, what was expected was an instruction that you should meet God at the point of his instruction, that he gave a word. Go dip yourself in the Jordan seven times. Now the word of the Lord to you is that be here online and pray just seven days. 90 minutes of intercession for seven days. Just join us online. You have sowed seed, it did not work. You had used your connections, it did not work. Naaman used his connection. It was not the connection, it was the instruction that gave him his, his miracle. Now this is the instruction of the Lord. Don't just be here for one day and then watch when you feel and then go and sleep. No. Be part of this fully. Seven is a symbol of completion. There is a, a level of cleansing that is about to enter into your spirit. And it's going to happen at the instance of you following this instruction. We're going to be here every night. This is the first night. There are six more nights. It is seven dips. If it is not seven, then it can never be complete. 
am I talking to somebody? If it's not someone, so I wonder where the money issue you have joined us today. You see, we are here to pray. We are not here for lots of things. We are just here to pray. The whole time that we will be online is to just pray. We have been doing so many other things but pray. So that's why God gave this instruction in this mandate that we're going to be gathered here. Like the man of God, the prophet. He says, surely there's a prophet in Israel. He said to Naaman, he says, dip yourself in the Jordan seven times. It has to be seven times. So we're going to be here seven days and I urge you to do the same. And your life, for those of you who, I know that you have a prayer point. Some of you might have been expecting that we should work with prayer points tonight. Tonight is not the night of prayer points. Tonight is the night to intercede. He says sometimes we do not want to pray for as we ought. He says, but the Spirit maketh intercession on our behalf. Will we still pray or prayer points? Yes, during the course of the days. But tonight is not the night for that. Tonight is for us to tap into that realm of the Spirit. It's for us to ascend into a realm. So that's where we pray for. When you pray, you, just don't, you don't just pray from your room. You pray from a realm. You understand? You don't just pray from your room. You pray from a realm. Your room just creates the atmosphere for you to step into the realm. You see, so we are going to be praying from, from a realm. That's why all of us here that are here presently now, we have ascended into a realm. That's where we are going to be praying from. So when we are making our requests to God, it is from a realm. It is not the realm of physical utterance. It's not the realm of English. He says, I pray in my understanding, but I also pray in the spirit. Yeah. We're talking about praying in the spirit. So I want to urge you, we're done for tonight. Be ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're entering into, a deep, into deep waters. We're entering into deeper dimensions in prayer. You could not pray before, eh? don't worry. You've been struggling to pray, no problem. You've been struggling to pray, absolutely no problem. This is the perfect opportunity for you. Just join. Just have data and come online. And you will see what will happen. You will pray in a way that you would never expect. In a way that you never thought you could pray before. That's how you're going to pray. So God bless you. Be ready for tonight. We're going to be here again tonight. It's going to be a glorious encounter with the Holy Spirit of God. And I hope to see you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this point, there's nothing. You have data. The provisions for the data will be made available. Seven what? Seven dips. Seven dips. Don't come and just have one dip and think you're going to gather everything. No. You must continue till the end. Please. Don't miss today because we are already in the second day. Prepare your heart, prepare your mind, believe. This is a mountain that God has established because there is something he has prepared for you. Please, please, please share this to people who were not able to join us tonight, this morning. Share the link for them to rewatch it and let their lives also be blessed. Join us again tomorrow, same time, 10.30 p.m. West African time. Please come online, share the link for everyone to be a part of it. Let's lift up our voice and thank God for what he has done here tonight. Thank him for what he has done this morning. Ah, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. What we have experienced here is heaven on earth. Only God can do what he has done here tonight. Lift up your voice and thank him. Thank him for the encounters. Thank him for the transfiguration. Thank him for the change of story. Somebody lift up your voice. Also online, just thank and bless the Lord for everything he has done already. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for what you have done. We lift up our voices to say thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you. Rendo shabarada kaya mandere be. Askarandere bo shadabaya. We bless your name, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, the strength that we need is made available for the next six days. In the name of Jesus, we will not be weary, we will not be feeble, we will not faint. In the mighty name of Jesus, all that we need, he has provided for us. We know that we will come back with testimonies today. In G I don't believe that you even believe what I said. You are coming back today with testimonies. 
We are returning here today with testimonies. Hallelujah. See you today, 10.30 p.m. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.